Adam had gone to sleep for good. He made his request to take the final firing after he was diagnosed with mental fatigue. He knew it was time for him to go due to him getting old, his overhaul being expensive, and the huge fact that the age of steam was dying out. Inside of the workshops in Croven's Gate, with Sir Topham, Edward, Diesel and Mr. Zorro all by his side, the workman poured the black water into his system. After saying his final goodbyes, Adam went to sleep. Suddenly, he woke up. He found himself next to a building that was rather familiar to him. It was dark and no one was there, other than the red engine himself. But to him, he found it to be peaceful, for whatever reason, like some sort of heaven. So he just stayed there for a bit to surround himself in the place before making a move. As he was, he heard the sounds of chugging, sounds of wheels turning, and a sound of two whistles that he remembers so well. He looked shocked. At that point in the distance, there were two red engines chugging along the track towards him. He could see their size and the type of colour that was the same red as him. As they got more and more closer, their faces appeared to be more clear, and that was when Adam couldn't believe it. On two separate tracks came two heroic engines that sacrificed themselves during the Second World War. It was Colin and Lily. They all teared up with happiness, but a bit of sorrow. Adam was really happy to see them again, quoting that it had been a very long time since their unfortunate deaths. Both Colin and Lily were the same. They were really happy to be reunited with their friend, their brother again. They were sad that he was gone from the world, and that the Wellsworth and Suttery engines are no more in reality. But they know that they were not forgotten at all. Colin and Lily then began to tell Adam to follow them to their sheds, where there was a green l &E -R engine and a polite, strict man that led the Nor'easters waiting for them. After a bit of a moment, Adam followed them towards their shed in this mysterious, peaceful home that they call heaven. <laughs> 